Hello, Dr. Kemp here, the Hammond Doc. All right, I've uh, removed the cover from my 428 kit in my Hammond B3 organ. And I'm going to rebuild uh, this, uh, this kit. It has uh, one capacitor here, electrolytic a capacitor can here, and one, two, three resistors that I'll replace. And uh, it's always fun to <laughs> to rebuild or refurbish these uh, these kits. Um, you just want have to make sure you get solid connections and uh, uh, all of the wires are in the right place. So you want to make sure you take plenty of pictures before you start unsoldering or disconnecting any of these wires and these parts because they have to go back the same way they are now. Okay, uh, the new parts that is, and then of course the wires have to be put in the same locations make sure in order to make sure your kit works or functions properly all right so this is a short video just to show you what uh, I'll be doing and what it looks like on the inside here And these are the parts that'll be replaced. These one, two, three, and four. Till the next video. Uh, Dr. Kemp, the Hammond Doc. Somebody might say, well, what is, what is this thing for? This is, uh, this is for the switching aspect of the Leslie amplifier of uh, the, uh, this is what allows for your relay to work and to switch off and on in your Leslie 122 amplifier. So you need one of these kits. Uh, the newer forms are called the 8000 kits. But this is the older model. It's called a 428 kit. Okay. So um, it's time for me to rebuild this, this kit. And... Uh, so that's my next job to the next video. Dr. Kemp, peace out.